Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the Automation on New YouTube channel. In this video, today I'm going to show you how to download and upload a PLC program in Siemens TA portal. To demonstrate this, I have a PLC from Siemens S7200 and a start button and stop button and the indicator to showcase the PLC functionality after the program download. Okay, let's get started. Open the TA portal. Click uh, create new project and you can give the project name as you want. Uh, project and let's go down load upload then you can select the file location where you want to save a plc program so i'm clicking this plc program and click ok then click create and wait for a moment to create the project now open the project view and you can see here your project underscore download upload the project name is already here now we're going to add a new device click double click and add new device and i'm going to choose a 7200 plc and let me show you what's the plc type that i have here is uh, this the plc i have and you can see the plc cpu type 1215c dc dc relay and the part number is here 6CS7215 hyphen 1HG40 hyphen 0XB0. So, this is the part number I'm going to add in our project. Okay, let me open the TA portal and here you can click on the CPU, then you go and find CPU 115 1215 DC DC relay. Okay. Yeah, this is the part number this is the cpu 1215 c dc dc relay and the part number is this one so the version you need to select which is that matching your setup okay i'm going to select v4.2 this is the one that i have the plc okay click ok wait for a moment to add the new plc into the project now you can see here our plc is added so let's zoom in on the plc okay yes here is our plc and you can see here all the digital inputs and outputs all here so in order to download our plc program we are going to write a simple program to add into our plc this is our plc sldc here you can see the digital inputs uh, i 0 0.02 until i 1.5 this is the 14 digital inputs that we have in our plc and here is the digital outputs from q0.0 to q1.1 so we have a 10 digital output is is already here we are going to write a simple program to download to the plc click on the prop click on the plc and then click property Click on the your tags so the all the tags names you can see it here i0.0 i0.1 is the digital input and the digital output is here key 0 0.0 key 0 0.1 key 0 0.2 so okay we go we will use some of the inputs and outputs here uh, to download the plc program before that we will assign some name for the tags okay we will name it as a start start for the input 0 0.0 and input 0 0.1 is top and then we can name we can use uh, digital output is uh, right underscore on so we will click on the plc tags to make sure that all the three tags is is included in the project okay here is the tags you can see start stop light on the address of the 
tags is here i0.0 0 .0, i0.1 0 .0, key 0 0.0 okay now we will write a simple program to download to the plc okay click on the program logs and then click on double click on the main ob one so now download program just name it download program we will write a simple program like uh, use a normally open contact and normal close contact and then a call so here you can use a start input to start this one we can use as a stop input Then this one you can use the output is a light on. So here we can latch. So delete it. Okay, so select here. I want to latch the light button. Okay, so you can light. Okay, that's all. Our simple program is ready. Then we will download the program into the PLC. Okay, click on the PLC and click on the download to device button. Okay, click on our Ethernet adapter and click start search. Okay, the PLC is here and the IP address of the PLC is 192.168.0.01. Before you download the PLC, you need to make sure that your IP address is your PC IP address is, is, is on the same network. Okay, click on the network and internet option and go to the advanced network settings and go to the more network adapter option and click on your ethernet port adapter and click properties and go to the internet protocol version and click properties and see your ip address yes ip address is 192.168.0.15 which is also in the same network it's fine if you have if your ip address is not matching then please change to the same network ip address then click ok close this and then we go back to our plc program so now the program is ready and is we are going to download it so you click here and then click load okay just click continue with your synchronization you click on the uh, stop all and load okay model start model okay, finish program is successfully downloaded to, into the plc let's click on the monitor button and you can see if it everything is green which means your program is successfully downloaded and your online offline program is same okay let's see how the program is functioning okay i have a physical setup over here and then i will show you how that's the program is working okay let me show you my physical setup on the plc side okay let me show you my physical setup of the plc and here you can see this is the power supply and this is the plc is 7200 and here we have a one um, start button a stop button and the indicator on here now this is the indicator that press the start button here okay the light is on
now i press the stop button and then you can see how whether it is off or not okay i press the stop button okay now the light is off so program is working well let's try to upload the program from the plc and see how okay let's uh, go to the offline mode okay, go to offline and you can save this program as it is okay and then you can click on the project and click new so we are going to upload the program from the plc okay project underscore up, upload create okay let's go to the online access and then select to uh, ethernet adapter here and then you can update accessible device so that you can see your plc is here so the new plc is already here let's go to online click on the online and go to the upload device as a new station okay, click on it and wait for a moment okay plc is uploaded into a pc you can see it here this is your plc and the program is here okay let's go to online mode and then see okay now your plc program is uploaded into a pc uh, this is how we are uploading the plc program in siemens ta portal